Hi all, GabuX here with, wait for it, the last gameplay element to be demoed for my little investigations. There previously were three gameplay elements to be demoed, but if you follow the developer blog, you'll know that the one after partners got cancelled, so this is it. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I've never been so excited. Well, except for the time that I went, <gasps> but I mean, really, who can talk about Yes, that? yes, Pinky, we're all excited. Anyway, we'll have more information on what comes next for my little investigations in the future, but for now, we'll just have a look at this gameplay feature. Before I do that, though, I just want to give a big thank you to my friend Zeus Assassin, without whom this feature literally wouldn't exist. I was just on the cusp of deciding to forget about it when he presented his idea for how it could go, and that pretty much single-handedly revived its status in the game. So, without further ado, let's take a look at Confrontations. It'd probably be easier to explain Confrontations just by diving into one right off the bat. So, let's go have a talk with the filly everyone's been waiting to see. Our little old suspect, Scootaloo. Okay, so predictably, Scootaloo doesn't much want to talk about it with us. So, it's up to us to pry the truth out of him. Let's go ahead and start up our very first confrontation. Now, at first glance, confrontations seem quite similar to in interrogations, and that's because they do share similarities. In both of the two, your opponent talks for a little while on a subject, and you need to go through what he or she says and figure out where evidence applies to a statement. However, obviously there are key differences. This wouldn't be a feature unto itself if there weren't. The most obvious one that you've probably already noticed are these numbers at the top of the screen, with the character's silhouette behind them. From a gameplay perspective, you can kind of think of these as the character's health, so to speak. For example, suppose Twilight presents the wrong evidence to the wrong statement here. As you can see, her health went down by one. Effectively, for Twilight, this number represents her current credibility. If you keep getting things wrong, it'll eventually plummet down to zero, and you'll lose on account of the fact that there's no way that the person's going to want to talk to you. But you don't lose that much. You just need to redo the confrontation from the start if that happens. You might be wondering why we opted to go down this route. The reason basically is that we needed something to prevent people from just randomly guessing until they get it right. In interrogations, what stops people from randomly guessing is the knowledge that they might not yet even have the evidence that they need, and that they might be wasting their time as such. In confrontations, however, you only begin them once you have all of the evidence you need to see them through to the end, and you can't leave them halfway, halfway through. So this seemed like a reasonable situation to bring in a variant of the health mechanism seen in the Ace Attorney series. So that's Twilight's health explained. How about Scootaloo's? Well, as you probably guessed by now, Scootaloo's health drops when you get something right. Let's go through what she has to say here. Alright, so Scootaloo is telling us that she was at home obviously attempting to try and make it out that she wasn't even there. However, we've already heard from Apple Bloom that the Cutie Mark Crusaders had been practicing at the town hall that night, so let's inform her of that fact.
Well, clearly that wasn't enough for her, since she is still acting like there's no way she could have been involved. However, that's not all we heard from Apple Bloom. We also heard about a certain break that they took during that rehearsal. So let's present that and see what happens. Now we can see two things here. First, Scootaloo's health has dropped by one. Unlike Twilight's, which more or less represents her credibility, Scootaloo's health instead represents more her current resistance. Once it drops to zero, Twilight will finally have made her point, and Scootaloo will stop denying the truth. It's still only at two right now though, so we'll need to keep going. Besides that though, you can now see another difference between intuitions and confrontations here. Interrogations are a one-shot deal. You ask a question, get a response in which the person will say something that you then need to present evidence against, and then you're done. You'll get something new for your trouble. Confrontations, on the other hand, are much more extended endeavors with multiple topics, and completing one topic can open up one or more new topics that you'll need to talk about. Confrontations always have one ultimate goal, though. The player has to keep hammering away at the facts until the opponent finally cracks, or otherwise until the player's point has finally been made. Obviously, we haven't made our point yet, so let's keep going. Okay, so clearly Scootaloo is getting a little perturbed, and is now trying to cover for the fact that she doesn't have a good alibi for that night anymore. We, now, we know that we have tire marks that seem an awful lot like the ones from her scooter, so that seems like a good place to start. By the way, I should mention that we also had the scooter itself as evidence in a previous video, but since I decided that was giving away way too much info way too quickly, that piece of evidence is now gone. Okay, well, now we've run into a problem. We don't have any evidence that's going to work against what Scootaloo is saying here. Does that mean we're screwed? Nope, it just means we're barking up the wrong tree. Confrontations can also act as a bit of a logical maze. Completing some topics can also give you new evidence that can then be used when talking about other topics. And this is one example of that. So let's make use of this back button over here and go to the other topic. So here we're discussing what Scootaloo's motive was to steal the jewel. She claimed she didn't have any motive, which normally would be true, except we happen to have a bit of information from Rainbow Dash that could be construed to say otherwise. Let's give her the bad news.
Look at here! Not only did we deal damage to Scootaloo, we also got us another bit of evidence. As you've probably already guessed, this is what we need in the previous topic. So let's go back to it. And now we finally reached the end. Scootaloo's resistance has reached zero, and she finally has no choice but to come clean and talk to us. Hold on a second here, I'm about to spoil the story. Naughty naughty, you'll just have to wait to see what happens. And that's pretty much it for confrontations. Basically, my vision for these are that they will be very climactic moments in the game, where everything you've learned up until the point they start will finally come together, and you'll make some very real progress in the investigation once they're done. And with that, we're officially done showing off the game engine. Obviously, however, this isn't the end. This is just the beginning. Stay tuned and watch this space for further information about where we're going from here. We hope you'll be as excited about it as we are. Until then, however, this has been GabuX for My Little Investigations. Thanks for watching.